So we made it up all the way to the tour, to the tower, <laughs> La Torre in Espanol. And uh, it was a long way up. My little friend Raja here. Raja, what you doing, baby girl? What you doing? Hey, what you doing? She um, she kept stopping. <laughs> She's not in very good shape for a cute. So for some reason, my previous recording stopped. Said there was an SD card issue. Anyway, so to continue my story, we were walking up. You can see the trail right there. Um, it was really high. I mean, we're all the way, never mind the houses that you see down there, we're like further than that. <laughs> so we've come quite a way. Um, Me and Raja. You my beautiful little girl? Yes. Yeah. And now I'm about to walk us over here to go see a bit more because the view is astonishing. bag too far. Not that there's anyone around, but I don't want to give uh, the opportunity <laughs> for people to latch onto it and go. So yeah, look at this, man. How awesome is this? I don't know what's going on here exactly, but the view is amazing. You can see a lake far in the distance over there. Bird flying, trees everywhere. There's a wonderful breeze. Honestly, I'm kind of burnt right now because I forgot to bring some sunscreen on. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll fix it. I know it's not good, but uh, <laughs> put lots of coconut oil, some aloe. You know, the beauty is because I'm staying at the farm. So little Raja here is a rescue. Um, and I decided to walk her specifically because. She doesn't get along with other dogs. She loves humans. She's super cool. But if other dogs instigate, she kind of snaps on them. And as you know, pit bulls have a very strong jaw. They don't necessarily release. I mean, they don't release <laughs> until you choke them out. So, um, I'm trying to avoid that. And I just wanted to bring her away from the dogs and being in her pen and walk her somewhere different. But regardless, they take care of the animals, they rehabilitate them and try to find a good home for them. And not only do they have dogs like Rasha, but they also have um, cats, three wonderful little cats for now. And um, they have two pigs that are awesome, Gumby and Peppo. And they've got a horse, Pomono. And this is all in the current moment, right? They've got Goaty, the goat. Um, and yeah of animals roaming around taking care of them the priority is taking care of the animals and then uh, the rest is uh, the farm and the harvesting and the responsibilities and running errands and you know the whole shabam of life and uh, yeah so I woke up at 5 30 a.m. started work at 6 we worked until 1 1 p.m. and then I took off and uh, wow look at this Beautiful eagle. Did you guys see that? Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's roaming around. And um, yeah, and now I'm gonna take her on a really good walk. Even I'm tired now. Ate a few Brazil nuts. And uh, going back. Going back to the farm. Anyhow, it's getting kind of frisky, so uh, I'm gonna turn this uh, GoPro off for now. Let you enjoy the view for a little last second. A little, tr a little 360. Let's look at it. Peace out for me and Raja. So we're heading to the waterfalls, the ones that are nearby. We're not quite sure how far they are. But we've got Peluche here that's just following without a leash. I've got you, Sarah, on mine. And we've got Raja that's with Kim over here, and we've got Kendall with O'Reilly over here, yeah, and uh, we're just in the middle of uh, nature and nowhere, it's gorgeous, I 
It's going to be even more gorgeous by the time we hit the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little Yusuf, Luce, Raja, the one I was walking the other day at the top of the mountain, and Kendall. I'm out. Feet deep into mud. She's definitely, hopefully, gonna wash off at the at the waterfalls. the water down there. Oh. We can now see the water down there. And we made it! After like having tons of dogs following us on the way, getting lost in another road and this guy on a horse helped us relocate. Oh look, there's a horse up there. That's random. So pretty. Yay. We made it. Our champ. Oh, this is why. Oh, well. <laughs> Good girl, Raja. Good girl. Yeah. Oh. We made it to the falls after like an hour trek, <laughs> literally. And really it wasn't too much of a trek, it was more of just in the bush. Okay, calm down. Calm down, you Sarah. Calm down. Oh, we can't even go here. It's all blocked off. Someone see. Did you hear? It's all blocked off. Okay, come on. It's blocked off, guys. Someone seems to live there. What do we do? Do we trespass? Eh? Ah, oh, no, I see it. It's a fence. I was looking like, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I know. I was like, I don't think she saw what I'm talking about. No, yeah, I yeah. So there's like a door there. We could open it, but I don't think, I mean, it's in, they don't own this property. Like it's impossible that they own this property at the falls like that. 
Yeah, you would be really rich not having it. They spend all their money on the waterfall and now they have to.